Hello students, in this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and actually retrieve data from the user. So let's see how we can do that. So at the top, just click on File, New, and then click on Project. And again, choose Visual C Sharp, Windows, and then select Console Application. And for the application name, just type in here, Retrieve, retrieve uh, Data from User. And you can specify the location and the solution name here and make sure to create a directory for the solution. So just click on OK. So now it's going to actually create the project for us. And now as you can see, the project is created. So let's actually uh, go straight ahead inside of this main method. And inside of this method, I want to create a variable of type string. So first, uh, let me show you uh, the actual documentation for predefined types in .NET Framework. So here it is the documentation and you can see, you, you can actually uh, just enter this URL inside your inside the search bar of your uh, web browser or you can actually search for built-in types in C Sharp in Google and find this page here. So now as you can see it says for, uh, let's actually look at the types here, it says C Sharp type and you can see .NET Framework type and you can see the Boolean type I'll talk more about these types later. We have byte, we have um, s byte, char, decimal, double, float, int. This is actually for integer values, as you can see here, which has uh, which is going to actually take 32 bits of uh, memory, and we have uh, u int, which is for uh, unsigned integers. And I'll talk more about this later. We have long, which is actually an integer uh, 64 bits which is going to hold a lot, actually a large integer value. We have uh, unsigned long. We have object. I'll talk more about objects later. We have short. As you can see, this is actually again integer, but it is 16 bit. So it is, it's going to actually hold uh, actually smaller uh, uh, integer values. And we have a unsigned short. We have string. So you are already familiar with this type string. So let's uh, go back to actually as uh, Visual Studio. So now inside this main method, let's create a variable of type string. So here I can say string. So first, in order to create a variable in C Sharp, first we must specify the type. So the type is going to be string. And now I must specify the name of this variable. So the name of this variable is going to be name assignment operator so let's actually change this variable name to first name so look at the actually look, see, look at this variable name here look at the convention that i am using in order to name this variable as you can see the first letter of my first word of this variable name is actually lowercase and you can see that the subsequent words of this variable name is going to start with a capital letter so first name is going to be first and as you can see, this is actually a capital N, and you can see name. So this is called camel case. This type of naming your variables is called camel case. And this means that the first letter of the first word of your variable names is going to start with the lowercase letter, and the subsequent words are going to start with the capital letter. So as you can see, first name, and if I actually going to uh, actually add other words to this variable name those words are going to start with capital letter so first name here so make sure to actually name your variables exactly like this this is actually a convention so and uh, this is the name right and here i want to initialize this variable so i can actually just declare this variable here right i can just put a semicolon here as you can see i did not initialize this variable here i just declared this variable i just said okay i am going to have a variable of type string and the name of this variable is first name i do not want to initialize it here but later i will initialize it so that's the meaning of this line of code here in line number 14. so let's create another variable so let's actually uh, just type in here string so again so let's actually put it in a new line here so first i need to specify the data type of my variable string and the name of my variable here is going to be last name semicolon again i did not initialize this variable i just declared this variable 
So the, the name is last name. So I look at this camel case here that I am using. This is actually a convention for naming our variables. So for example, look, look at this method here. As you can see, the name of this method starts with a capital letter. So this is actually a convention in C sharp. Or you, you look at this class here, look at this class name. Look at the uh, capital letter here, this P. So again, the name of your classes in C sharp actually uh, should start with capital letter. So this is a convention in C sharp. And now,